Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to watch the video and spend some time with me today. Really appreciate that. And guys, today I just sort of wanted to have just a conversation with y'all. Just sort of a comprehensive little talk on fall bass fishing. The type of areas to look for. Um, I've got about half a dozen things that I really like to do in the fall time of the year that I want to share with you guys in today's video and definitely think it's going to add up to some good fish for you guys between now and probably about the mid part of November it works pretty good. I'm also guys speaking of fall bass fishing I just wanted to remind you guys you probably heard me talking about it about my new page on Tackle Warehouse called Blockett's Corner. Um, I'm doing this every month for Tackle Warehouse, where every month I list what I think the best lures for that particular month are. And the uh, September uh, Blockage Corner is up right now. I'll put the link in the description of this video if you guys would like to check it out and uh, look at some of my suggestions I put in there. So much appreciated with that. <clears throat> okay, guys. Falls, to me, when I talk think about fall bass fishing, I, I sort of think it starts, to, in my opinion, towards the end of September. Like... We're right now at the time of this video, it's uh, September 12th, and we still have real warm temperatures. We got warm you know, water still, the temperatures are still getting up in the 80s during the daytime. We're having a little bit more cooling at night, like our nights are getting a little bit cooler. But for me, it's like when that, when that you start having those consistent nights, like down in the 50s in this part of the country anyway, and you start to have a gradual decline in the water temperatures, like where they're starting to go down about, you know, a degree or so a week. That sort of signals the fall time of the year. <clears throat> and one of the first things that happens in the fall bass fishing is every fall, usually sometime in October, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> you know, you get that first really, really severe cold front of the fall where the temperatures get like colder than they've been since like last spring that's what really triggers it. So for the most part, we're talking about late September to mid-November for these things that I'm going to talk about that works pretty good. Now, when I think about fall bass fishing, guys, it's all about shallow fishing. You know, I contrary to popular belief, I do fish deep. I don't live scope, but I do get out there and fish, you know, anywhere between 20 to 40 feet deep sometimes. You know, with my 2D sonar unit at different times of the year, fall is not one of them. When I, every fall that I've ever fished and and a lot of the tournaments in fact you know two of the tournaments two of the Bassmaster tournaments that I won both were in October you know most all the success I've had in October have come shallow water fishing so I sort of want to go over some of those techniques a little bit now the first thing I think one of the biggest um, misconceptions in the fall time that you used to hear all the time about reading magazines it's like you need to go to the back of the creeks in the fall time of the year because fish move to the back of the creeks because the bait fish move back there. I'm not saying that's not true, but that is probably one of the most least productive ways that I catch fish in the fall time of the year. I like personally to fish um, the main lake a lot <clears throat> in the fall time of the year. Main lake or major creek arms and not really getting like way back into them. So I sort of want to talk a little bit about both fishing on the main lake and fishing uh, back in the creeks a little bit. Another thing that you will find out in a lot of different lakes in the fall time of the year is there's two different patterns that work good. You have a really, really shallow target-oriented pattern, and then you have some type of a rock pattern on steeper banks. So the first thing that I do is I go out on the main lake, and I'm looking for steep banks. <clears throat> looking for 45-degree angle banks. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> 45 degree angle banks, steep rock banks, bluff banks, that type of deal. And especially those type of areas are getting a lot of wind on it. One of the things you're going to find out about fall bass fishing is the fish really, really activate good if the wind's blowing a little bit harder based upon the te technique you're fishing. So two of the favorite ways that I like to catch fish in the fall time uh, are on spinner bait and, you know, some type of a crank bait. And normally you have to have, you know, the, 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 the more the wind, the better on there. If I could give you guys one piece of advice for fall fishing the, before we get into this other stuff is when that water temperature starts to get down in the 60s, um, get out there on the main lake on those steep banks with a spinner bait and fish shallow with a spinner bait. Um, if the water's a little bit dirtier, you can sort of fish a little bit slower right up on the bank. But if the water's cleaner, you can burn it just under the surface. On those steep banks, it's going to be really good if you have some wind coming up on it, especially if that water temperature 
is down right around that 60 degree mark, it's going to be good. So I get out there and I prefer to fish the lower end of the lake because in the fall time of the year, I either want to fish real clear water or the dirtier water. I don't really like the, the in-between water, like, you know, that two to three foot of visibility. I like water visibility of over four feet or like less than two foot. That's sort of the, my type of fall fishing pattern. But anyway, back to the main lake, I'll get out there on those bluff banks, the steep rock banks, even some steep points and that burn that, that little spinner bait. You know, I like the smaller spinner bait, that three eighths ounce mega bass SV3 is my favorite by far. Um, and just covering water with it. You can, sometimes you can do the same thing with a chatter bait. Um, and sometimes you can do the same thing with a crank bait on those type of areas, like a wiggle wart or a rock crawler or some type of a crawdad pattern, wide wobbling crankbait. A lot of people think that crawdad crankbaits are just good in the pre-spawn, but they're also good in the fall time of the year. But that is a really good way to catch them. Another way you can catch them good in the fall time on the main lake out there <clears throat> is on some type of a topwater bait. Whopper plopper, <clears throat> zero spook, um, even a, like a horny toad, some type of a frog can be really good. But whopper plopper fishing can be really, really good in the fall time of the year on the main lake. And you just basically, with the whopper plopper, you're, I, I get out there and fish everything. It's like I'll get out there and I'll start on a point. I'll go back into a cove off the main lake, come out the other side, go down the main lake until I really try to pattern the type of bank that the fish are on. But take that black whopper plopper 130, cover water with it or uh, some type of a walk in top water like a, a head and super spook or mega bass diamante do the same thing with that top water and spinner bait on the main lake is always a good fall pattern now the other patterns like when you're fishing more back in the creek arms you have a little bit more diversity in terms of cover to fish because in the creek arm you usually have part of the creek is a, has a steep side to it and part of the creek has a flat side to it and then you've got, you know, whatever cover may be in that creek. It could be docks. It could be lay down trees. You might have some lily pad stems, grass. Every lake's different with that. But one of the, my favorite ways to fish in the main uh, part of the creek on these bigger creek arms is to go about halfway back into the creek, to, back to about two-thirds of the way back to the creek, and I fish whatever available shallow cover is. Um, the flat banks, one of the best ways you can catch them, guys, is a little quarter ounce rattle trap, especially if that water visibility is under two feet. Um, little quarter ounce rattle traps are really good bait in the fall time of the year. It's also a really good time of year to pitch and flip a jig on any shallow cover. You know, that jig, like my block at throwback jig, if there's docks in there, I'll flip that around that. If there's lay down trees, you know, grass, whatever. But a full size jig, uh, my favorite is either. Uh, it depends on the water clarity, but I like that green and chartreuse, black and chartreuse. Um, also, guys, I'll put that, my, my block of throwback jig link in the description if you guys want to look at that. Black and chartreuse, if the water visibility is like under a foot and a half. Green and chartreuse, if it's about, you know, foot and a half to two and a half foot. And then maybe some type of a, a green pumpkin if it's a little bit cleaner than that. But a jig is really good bait around shallow cover. In fact, a jig is probably my number one pitching and flipping bait. Um, anywhere between October to mid-November with that. And also, guys, there's always a topwater bite going on in those major creek arms. And it's the same thing with the main lake is I'll take like a buzz bait or a whopper plopper, uh, walk in topwater, all depending upon the water clarity. If it's a little bit cleaner, I'm using the whopper plopper and a walk in bait, buzz bait if it's a little bit more off-colored water. Literally just put the troll motor down. Get in there and fish the main part of the creek. Go back in little arms off the creek. Fish, fish everything again until you sort of isolate that. Um, also, if you have bluff banks in those creeks, a lot of those creeks have channel banks or bluff banks. Parallel nose with a crankbait can be really good. Uh, spinnerbait, chatterbait, pitching a jig up there can be productive. And um, it's just, you know, covering water. And a, a good rule of thumb with that in the fall time of the year. They will bite a topwater bait all year long, but I really like my topwater fishing to be on those days that you have low light conditions and not much wind and clear water. Like if I'm out there in October and I've got four foot of visibility on the lake I'm fishing and I got some overcast like you see right now we got with not much wind, I'll put that walking topwater in my hand and never take it out. It's, you can catch them on it all day long. 
Um, same with the whopper plopper or anything. Fall time's just a great time to fish a buzz bait, whopper plopper, walking bait all, all day long. And one thing you will find as the fall gets along a little bit later, um, and that water temperature starts dropping down into the 50s, they start to like a little bit larger lure. So that's when I'll go sometimes to like the bigger glide baits, the bigger swim baits, um, chatter baits. I'll go upsize my spinner baits to like a three quarter ounce with larger blades. But if, by, back to the glide bait guys, if you guys want to, to catch some fish on those big glide baits or swim baits, the month of November is probably the best month of it. When you get water temperatures down in those upper 50s, Get out there on those steep banks again in those creek arms, steep banks and points, and throw that glide bait on those same type of banks, places that are getting hit by the wind, places that have water visibility over three feet, and that's a really good way to catch them. So that's just a few of my favorite things, guys. Two, my, if, if you could give me well, three favorite baits, my three favorite fall baits would be my big jig, my block and throwback jig, a spinner bait, you know, like a ripping type spinner bait, um, and a topwater lure, specifically a walking topwater. I really like a walking topwater in the fall. So anyway, just give it a try. I hope it helps you guys catch a few, and I'll talk later.